Well, I guess we'll just get started then. Uh, went looking for something and I couldn't find it, so it's going to start. Um, yeah, so let's, uh, well, I'll just tell you what we're doing today. So the Home Recording Show is starting up again. Our first episode recording is tomorrow. And, um, you know, in preparation for that, I need to get up a new editing template and uh, don't have any music for it. And I don't want to use music from like three or four years ago, um, whenever we last changed the theme. So um, I think we've had three different pieces of music over the years, maybe maybe just two. I think the last one was sort of like a contest entry that we had, um, but I'm going to attempt to write something today. And um, we're going to do it with a with a chat. And... Uh, I haven't streamed in a little while, so we'll see how this goes. Um, yeah, and, and it's just going to be super casual, and if if I don't come up with anything good and interesting, then I don't know. I'll use uh, some royalty-free music or something like that, or uh, stuff that's okay to use. All right, so do a camera check real here real quick. Hey, it works. So, um, so I'll just put you guys right here. Mike, good to see you. And uh, yeah, here early for a change. So as usual, there's going to be kind of guitar-based, standard rock band sort of thing, virtual instruments and such. Oops. Oops. That's the way we've always done it. Um, so question, can you hear this? No. And... Uh, That's because
I think my mic software crashed. Thank you for letting me know. I muted the guitar, but I did not mute my mic. It just did it on its own. Yeah, I I think the the uh, driver software for the wavelength um, the software I think this just crashed, and apparently that takes out my mic. It's usually just running in the background. It's never crashed before now. But I did just update the uh, software two days ago. Uh, yeah. I need some ideas for what to play. Let's see if I can figure out the old... be the only way to actually get it done today. But I don't want to have to do this while I'm editing the, the podcast to think about having to add a theme. We don't know how long the intro needs to be. Yeah, we don't have any like uh, animation that has to sync to at this point. Um, and it should have sort of a looping section. Where, I don't know, we can just introduce the show and, and then we fade it out when the show actually starts. Set tap tempo. One twenty four. Let's do the double count in before recording. Do a double. sort of like a um, kind of a hard rock classic rock riff <laughs>
I what? I bet this software crashed because it got an update just now. <laughs> the uh, yeah. update popped up just as I was uh, resetting it. <laughs> Thank you all for coming out to the, the live stream today. Um, yeah, no real plan other than I've got a, a couple hours to write some music, and if I don't get it written, then, well, that's my weekend uh, spent. Or that's probably my, my Sunday spent recording. Uh, well, I want to get some something done. The hard part is, yeah, coming up with an idea beginning and uh next week is uh my uh, school's out so I, i've got my kids here for the next two maybe more weeks and it's going to be just hard to um hard to do anything so this may be like my last chance to do a, a live stream without interruptions or um you know, I'll, I'll be busy with the, the podcast and other stuff, so. We've fixed our website. We've created new art, set up a um, tip jar website, all this stuff. So, uh, yeah, it's coming down to, like, just the music and the the theme song or the the theme song and the te editing template and finalizing like we're actually just getting the content made <laughs> well it's good to know that i sound good um, because I haven't changed these strings in a year. And uh, I've been thinking lately that I should go down to a, a thinner a thinner gauge because they, uh, especially in drop D, this gu guitar is quite hard to play. The action's a bit too high, strings are a bit too like tight, but whatever it is. Um, while I just figure out some idea, you guys can uh, ask me some Reaper questions. I'm just going to get a gate on here as well. That was the first theme song. Uh, where is my browser? Um, let's do... I don't know if you guys will be able to hear this. Just realizing. I might actually have to do set up loopback. Uh, loop back. I don't hear it. Why can't I hear it? I should be able to hear it. Um, 
What's going on? Move back out to there. This is June 23rd, 2008, and this is Home Recording Show, episode number one. You're listening to The Home Recording Show. Check us out at www.homerecordingshow.com. I'm Des McKinney of HomeTrack.com. I'm John Tidy of AudioGeekScene.com. And I'm Ryan Canestro oh of Adventures so in Sound. I can't, I can't listen to that. <laughs> but yeah, I think the original... I think it's... I don't remember us doing an intro like this. Uh, <laughs> I don't remember us talking over it. I hate it. All right, so here's um. Here's this is episode. July fourteenth. You guys can hear that, right? And this is Home Recording Show, episode number three. You're listening to the Home Recording Show. Yeah, that that's still weird. Check it. Sound at ryanconestro.com. We've got a great show for you today. Des wasn't able to make it with the. Yeah, yeah so that is 2008. Yeah, 2008. We did that one. So. Go to the latest episode. It doesn't play there. But... You're listening to the Home Recording Show, hosted by Ryan Canestro and John Tidy. Find us online at homerecordingshow.com. I don't think I played that one, <laughs> but. But it's been so long that I, I actually have no idea. Listening to the home recording show. You're listening. I know that's not it. But. It, it might be fun to like remake the original theme. Um, let's go to episode 100. I can't remember if I had three different themes or two. Welcome to the Home Recording Show. I'm John Tidy of AudioGeekZine.com. I'm Jesse Zoller of TheIceShop.net. And I'm Ryan Canestro at DitchRoadRecords.com. If you have any questions or comments for the show, please email us at... Probably not. I'm always like, I always have ideas for music while I'm like out for a walk, and it's so annoying because it 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 takes me half an hour to get back, and then when I sit down at the computer, I have lost the idea already. Um, <laughs> but like, uh, was it yesterday? I think yesterday I went out for a walk after dinner, and I had an idea of what I was gonna play, and then I didn't get to it. And now it's just like completely. <sighs> Bear with me, I suck at guitar. <laughs> Oh, 
comment into the phone. Well, I the the problem is I don't hear it as like individual melodies. I kind of like hear it as as like the full band, um, or like I'm listening to something and it kind of inspires that idea, or it I come up with something that's similar but different, but then I have no ability to actually play it. <laughs> take shorter walks. I just go around the block. There's a, uh, I'm near a hospital and I just go around the hospital essentially, but it ends up, uh, being about, um, a kilometer and a half to go around. just don't walk. No, that's not an option. No, my, my, I need to go for a walk or my brain is just a mess. So, so yeah, am I in tune? Probably not. Take shorter walks? Maybe. I'm into my phone. I don't know if I can, I'll be able to do that. I am in drop D. Oh, you guys can't see the guitar. Maybe that. And the headphone cables are too short. And the plug comes out. Yeah, so what do you guys think? Uh, keep trying to get something original or go to the first theme and kind of retrack it because I definitely don't have that session anymore. I did that in Pro Tools in 2008, I think with Addictive Drums 1 and may have even been the demo of Addictive Drums. <laughs> Even that sounds similar to me, trying to do something different on purpose, and it's like, no, that's the same song. Should do it from a template. Come on, contact. What's taking so long? All right, grooves. Um, let's do a, a ride groove.
it's something to start with anyways. I might just throw all of it out in the end, but uh, let's start with this. And that was, um, what was that called? Dunbeat? Okay, so let's put that at uh, bar 13, bring this one in. I don't want the intro to be very long. I gotta think about how we can talk over it as well. Why don't I hear it? Oh, it's the wrong track. First hit is just gone. That first kick is not playing on the second repeat. Why is that? Why is that? That kick is not playing on the second time. Uh, that's odd. something I could I can do something with that um, yeah I guess let's Why was I thinking there would be a, a pre-roll instead of count-in? I wanted pre-roll, not, not count-in, I think. I might, 
Am I just doing the the last theme but differently? come back to that and I'm completely erased but it's something it's better than nothing so this section what did i do there think of how this would work with with voiceover i don't want people to wait like how long is this this is in minutes and seconds this is 15 seconds i don't want that much time to go so i might not be able to do uh two bars there but then what blends into the next section I think one of the ideas I had was just starting off with like a distorted bass and then doing a pretty fast tempo, um, almost punk groove. But I don't remember it. probably. volume turned down this guitar like it's nice and bright and scratchy when you turn down the volume
All right, so let's grab another groove with um, hi hat. Oh, yeah. I also want to hear this with the previous tape. cat's going nuts behind me. That's too sloppy. The, the first one was... So um, so I just played it twice on the one side and then moved the item, copied the item to the first guitar and then changed the take. So take one is playing on the left and take two is playing on the right. So here's what we have so far.
yeah, that's why I use gotta turn down the uh the reaper feed because it was clipping in obs so uh yeah don't want that my cat is going nuts over there uh yeah um verda scan says i like watching this kind of streams helps me learn some workflows while songwriting especially since i'm kind of bad at it yeah same so uh yeah learning various tricks for like double tracking and stuff like that it's like uh, loop recording working with takes all that is important because it's not super straightforward and you kind of only learn all these techniques when you've spent a lot of time recording yourself and other people and recording other people is is not something that i think most people do most reaper users are not like i don't know getting paid for it so so maybe this no nah, that's that's too scratchy So where do we go from here? Any suggestions? Let's look at some of the other grooves here. I'm just grabbing stuff from the same uh, performance. That, but I wish I could tell which one I have imported because there's several hi hat ones. Tele telephone type EQ at the beginning. Yeah, that would help that transition. I was thinking something similar. Yeah, that's why I wanted the option of, of turning the guitar tone down or volume down. I usually go for that first before reaching for a plugin, but absolutely right. Um, let's put these into a folder and then put on an EQ and then do a filter like this. Okay, and then take the bypass parameter and actually, no, we'll do wet dry and track envelope. No, no, is bar. No, maybe the drums should be the same way, actually. So I'm going to copy this, including automation, and go to the drums um, effects chain, and then paste. And that gets the envelope as well. Mm -hmm. 
maybe maybe not so long of a a fade. We'll just do that half a half note. That's right on the right on the beat. So I need a different, oh, wrong button. I need a different, where is it? Why is that happening? Okay, there we go. Um, I'm using a shortcut to open the, uh, the effects chain for the selected track, but sometimes it does it for the item, even though I click on it in the mixer. So it's, I don't know, for some reason I have to click on the TCP for it to work. So that's where I get confused. So I'm going to assume that I didn't use this. Definitely haven't used that one, but I don't think I want to fill there. Yeah, so I'm going to... Put this in there and do two more of those. I want the option of being able to like fade this out at any point. So I just kind of need something a little repetitive. And then, um, and then I'll do like uh, fills and transitions. So um, in the show previously, we would have different segments and we would use transition music that was based on the theme music so it would be like a a fill and then like a guitar stab sort of thing or a slide um or the same thing but like glitched so so yeah how did this Right, so should check my tuning. How's everyone doing today? Have I ever used Easy Drummer 2? Yeah, I actually. Uh, First launched, I made several videos on it. Uh, I like it a lot, and I have one of the I have one of the expansions for it, the um, post rock one, and that's a really that's a really good sounding uh, expansion for it. But it has some limitations that are kind of annoying, like you can't get um, each tom as a separate output. You can't mix symbols separately from overheads without a lot of extra sort of effort. Why do I even tune these strings? I never use them. All right, we're doing okay. This is just option one. Like if, if I have more time, then I can always record something else. We've only spent an hour so far. Uh, seems like the drums I'm using aren't really easy to program. Yeah, I'm just being lazy and, and using the, um, the, the preset things. This is more about speed and getting it done than like finding something perfect. 
Oh, it's the left one that's wrong. What am I doing? Is that there? There. All right, and then um, take this and do a, maybe a volume automation down four. No, that's too much. Sometimes I'll switch the um, the overdrive, and I'll I'll use like similar settings, just a different model.
with that. And base. Be right back. I haven't played this bass in two years, maybe. Can't see chat anymore. There you are. Uh, what was I doing? Need a track for bass. Monitor enable. And then I need a tuner. What is this tuning? Helps if you put the tuner on. like an octave low? That doesn't seem right. One, maybe two strings. Uh, what was I doing? Okay, and let's do a all right.
don't love any of these. Let's see if this is anywhere close to sounding good.
uh, I made a mistake in the middle there. But... I don't know. I'm gonna to find out a little more this more staccato. What are those on the so left side of the mixer? This is my, um, just a bunch of shortcuts. It's a toolbar. So it's just a Reaper toolbar. But this gives me options of like just seeing the bass bus or the drums bus or the guitar bus or only buses, things that have the word bus in them. So this would be guitars bus. This is bass. It's not in a bus, but. I have two tracks named bus, and if I click on the all bus button, that shows me just those two tracks. Or all tracks, or just the drums. I've done, I don't know, five videos on that topic. Whose podcast? My podcast, The Home Recording Show. Uh, there's already 251 plus bonus episodes, um, but we're, we're um, doing season three. So, um, so yeah, after a long break. So um, our last episode was in 2017, so a lot's changed since then. I just figured, let's do it all new. Why not? So um, I'm going to try this a different way, maybe. Yeah, I messed it up again. I don't know why I I stop halfway through. But... No, that sucks. Keep doing that. Why do I keep doing that?
playing that right. to hear this on speakers. And then, um, how long is this total? 54 seconds. And then, um, maybe put in the master track and then do an envelope that's similar to the way it would duck if we were uh, doing the show. So probably here, the duck down, put out the envelope. That, uh, this is actually out of balance. It's more than 4 dB difference.
So, yeah, maybe less time than that. I'll probably duck down. down there. All right, so that's, we'll call that option one, I guess. And I'll just put in a, a marker there. Let's put this back to zero. Okay, and Rather than a volume envelope in the intro, I would recommend pushing 1K in the EQ to balance it with the next part, make it thinner and louder. Yeah, I kind of need to hear it with the voices. Um, so, uh, for example, like in the Mastering Show podcast, um, I use volume automation. Um, and I think I EQ it a little bit, and it might be a dynamic EQ just so that it it ducks and kind of gets out of the way of the of the dialogue during the intro. Um, I expect I'll need something similar to that here. Uh, yeah, so this section would basically repeat until fade and yeah, but I'm kind of curious if I can come up with something different. This Reaper skin looks awesome. Uh, it's basically Reaper 6. It's just more things with this, this kind of green color. It's not that different. I'll, I'll show you. I think the main difference is that it's Mac with dark mode. So if I switch to the default theme, it's not that different. Mine's like lighter. It's, I don't think it's that different. Yeah, let's let's do something different. Same 
tones, but different beats. Okay, that definitely sounds like a, a verse. That one in. And that one has double kicks. And then just needs a, a fill. Is there a fill one? Actually, maybe this is cool. No. Oh, that's way shorter than I expected. Oh, that's fine. Yeah, it was the right note, at least. Yeah, that's the same. I'm playing the same notes as the other song, uh, but it feels totally different. I don't need to play that so many times. I accidentally colored that track somehow, but um, yeah, essentially these are the same. And let's switch to, back to guitar.
fucked it up. Why do I do that? Why did I fuck up the same spot? Did I play the bass wrong? I did. How many times have I gone to Spotlight instead of ever getting recorded? Oh, I know what it is. I've got an extra, like, beat there on the drums because of a, a fill or a sustained spot. Uh, okay, so... <clears throat> sloppy all right next song <clears throat> i don't know <laughs> So how's everyone doing? Um, been a minute since I talked to anyone. I recorded a whole song and no one said anything in the chat. Yeah, um, no, I get super frustrated with, with the recording stuff. Um, it takes me at least an hour to kind of get into it. I hate everything about what I do. And then I'll come back the next day and it's like, oh, maybe it's not so bad. And then I'll finish it and I, I'll kind of like it. 
But yeah, just doing it in front of an audience is definitely uh, even more tricky. But I, like, there's been a couple times that I've I've written something or like done a mix and I'll just throw it away during the the stream and start over. So, have you guys got anything for yourself for Christmas? Are you planning on making a gear upgrade? Anything like that? Black Friday just happened. Did you, you guys get anything interesting? Anything you're excited about? Any disappointments? I didn't really get anything for myself. Like, not specifically for Black Friday or because it was on sale or anything like that. Can't go wrong with a 57. I went decade a decade without getting a 57. And then the first time I used it on a guitar cabinet, it was exactly the sound that I wanted all along. But I tried getting cheaper microphones, more expensive microphones, similar microphones, it's just, it wasn't that mic and it didn't sound right. But if you have like a Marshall cab and a 57, going into pretty much any preamp here, it sounds good. Uh, sorry, I was saying the this sounds weird in the first verse because it's the same take on left and right, and then it jumps to super wide because I'm using different takes on the next section, I think. Um, yeah, take three of three, take two of three. So because I don't have an extra take in there, um, yeah, I gotta record again. I don't I don't think I'm gonna use this one for anything, but I'll just record it anyways.
there's a gap. That was early. Timing on this is just not good. I'm gonna do this again. I played a riff, I have already forgotten it. So I'm not actually going to use that, I don't think. But uh, yeah, that is about as quick as it can go for writing something. That's 48 seconds long. Probably spent 15 minutes on that. What's a new idea? <laughs>
So I like that, but I don't think it's appropriate for the, what we're I'm trying to do. I don't want people to be depressed when they start the show. With sad, sad, sludgy riffs. I'm playing that completely wrong. How did I do that?
I think that was it. Something like that. It was a different uh, pattern, though. As soon as the music starts, or the, the drum beat starts, I forget it. Probably just the wrong tempo. Put that in. Let's go back to this and see if I still hate it.
Um, yeah, any suggestions? What should we do? Should I just stick with this first one? Start over? I don't know. I don't love it. It's kind of meh.
drinking somewhere. Someone from Russia is calling me. Um, yeah, that's how I often do that recording. Two takes, and then I'll just um, flip them. One thing that's kind of slow right now is um, because SWS is... Um, uh, it's it's auto-grouping, which is good for some things. Um, toggle, auto-group, newly recorded items. Um, that's on right now, so I'm just going to shut that off. <clears throat> so I don't have to keep ungrouping them. But yeah, um, yeah, basically record it twice, select one take, switch it to the previous take, and you're done. Um, the other thing you can do is have a third track you record into that and just drop it down to the pre the track below or two tracks below. Um, and that one would have the same effect and panned and when you're playing your first take, it would be on the in the center. Yeah, so um, this this sounds okay, but it's it's not fitting the mission brief. so. I could probably live with that one, but right now I'm not not really that excited about it. Uh, we've been going for over two hours. Um, I need to eat real bad, so I'm gonna stop here. And uh, yeah, so thank you so much for coming on the stream today, joining me while I try to write a song and fail. But, you know, it's work that needs to be done. Um, I probably won't be streaming again this month, but I'm not 100% sure. Um, but, yeah, where's, where's my thank you screen? There it is. So thank you so much for watching. Um, visit the website for more tutorials. Watch out for new videos. Thank you to all my supporters on patreon and youtube members these guys really help a lot and i'll uh, see you in the next video